The purpose of this video is to show you how to initiate a manual defrost on the Kido Evaporator Efficiency Controller. A good place to start this process is when you're at the home point, whenever the display is showing the room temperature readout. To verify that you're at this point, you can press the back button a couple of times just to verify that you are at this position. From there, you can scroll right or left to get to the top of the manual menu column. Once you're at the manual menu column, you can now scroll up and down within this column with the up and down arrow keys. If you've not entered your password at this point, it will prompt you for your password. Hit the enter key one time, and then you can change the value of the individual digits using the up and down arrow keys, and change the digit that you're highlighted with the right and left arrow keys. Once you have your password in place, Press and hold the enter button down for three seconds, and you've now entered your manual menu column. Now to initiate a, de a defrost, <coughs> you're looking for the ma uh, manual control value or variable. Once you see that displayed, press the enter button one time, and it'll tell you the current condition or the current uh, mode that the controller is in. So it's telling us it's in the refrigeration mode currently. I want to move it to a defrost mode. So I want to hold the enter key down for three seconds. And now it's basically a, uh, manually initiating a defrost. And it'll run through a normal defrost cycle until you uh, either hit your termination temperature or your, your termination uh, time length. If you want to kick through the defrost, you don't want to wait the entire defrost time. Again, you can hold the enter key down for another three seconds. Now it's went into its drain mode, with the default value for the drain mode is uh, for two minutes. And then if you don't want to wait for that, you can again hold it down for three seconds. Now I'm going into my evaporator fan delay mode, where my compressor is running. It's holding the fans off until the evaporator is uh, down to 20 degrees. I'll kick it back into refrigeration mode. Again, hold the enter key down for three seconds. And now it went back into the refrigeration mode. That is the process to initiate a manual defrost. Press the back button to get back to the room temperature readout. And this process is complete. Thank you for viewing our video. If you have any questions or comments on the video or suggestions for future video topics, please contact us at www.ketotherm.com or by calling 636-266-0140.